Du hast eins drin? Ich nehme eins. So, hi guys, here we are. Yet another broadcast of Friday at 6. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah talking to the microphone. Okay, <laughs> yes. So everything uh, is in order now to start show number 17 of Friday at 6. We also say hi to everybody who is uh, watching at home or at their office. They have to come over to the pre-party of uh, the Silicon LA because we're in bar 1820. And tonight their Christmas party is here. So if you uh, are, are you know, not planning to come over here, you definitely have to come. And in the meantime, until 7 o'clock, you can follow us and listen to us uh, talking like the normal Friday at 6 stuff, talking about business. Who have we here at the table? Let me start here, right in front of me. Who is this wonderful young man? Hello, I'm Daniel Bartel. I'm a co-founder of Automancer. It's uh, basically Airbnb for... Is your microphone on? I don't know. Let me check. Uh, because... I cannot hear it. Yeah, that's always a bad thing. Yeah, I didn't put it on. Yeah, okay. Excu excuse me. Now so I'm could on. you, could you, we edit this later. The live viewers now can laugh at us, but okay, later in the edits, it will be fine. So who are you? Yeah, I'm Daniel Bartel. I'm um, doing Autonetzer. It's private car sharing. It means basically like uh, we are the Airbnb for cars. Ah, they, uh, you also always have to connect that with a very famous other yeah. company eh? because you hope then you will be big, that big later on. Later that on, you, we yeah. are growing and uh, we are online and um, yeah, of course. <laughs> you want to conquer the world? Uh, basically, yeah. Yeah, from Berlin? From Berlin and from uh, Stuttgart and Germany. <laughs> ah, okay, you are in Berlin and Stuttgart now. Yeah, we are yeah. doing um, both cities, but uh, we are, you can order cars um, uh, worldwide over Germany. Yes, okay, thank you. And who is there on the right opposite of me? Hey, my name With is With his uh, nice hat on. Thank you. It's not that cold outside, but you have, you is, have a, yeah, oh, okay. In our office it is, we just like, yeah. yeah, we so definitely need that. Uh, in your office, in you office. cannot pay the heating. No, <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> yeah, we're bootstrapping. Yeah, okay. So who are uh, you? My name is Sebastian Michel. Mm -hmm. I'm the co-founder of Vexel Butler. Mm -hmm. And our service is kind of not so easy to explain as like we're like Airbnb, but just for electricity and gas. But it's more like what we do is we consult you when you want to swap your electricity provider or gas provider. Because there are like a lot of services out there, but they're not really focused on the customer. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is uh, when you get a problem, you pay too much and that's like uh, a lot of people pay too much for their energy and gas, you can come to us. We can give you a personal, a personal uh, offer mm -hmm. so that you can save a lot of money per year and we do it for free because we get paid by our big partners. Your big partners, yeah. 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 And you try to persuade uh, customers who want to change to uh, 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 have a contract at one of these sponsors. Uh, no, no, we, we're definitely uh, in partner with like 95% uh, of all the different ah, providers in Germany. Okay, okay. So we can offer a bright range okay. of providers and so that everyone, really everyone. Yeah, so it's an honor service then. Yeah, it is. It yeah. truly is. Yeah, yeah very interesting. A personal uh, service. Yes, thank you. And here on my right side, we have uh, the third guest, who is also, I think, uh, doing something in, from business uh, to, to consumer. Am I right? Uh, yes, it could be business to consumer or business to business. Ah, also uh, business to business. Well, okay. Um, I'm Jan Brunat. Uh, I'm a co-founder of uh, Squadmail. And uh, what Squadmail is, is basically a synchronized group folders for your email account. We basically upgrade your email account so you can have folders shared with other email users. And you can use those to collaborate. You can share emails, you can put notes in, files, and they will be in all the users' email folders that are participating in this. And why is it called Squadmail? Squad is a synonym for team. But, uh, a, squad, a squad, a squad, in a squad, yeah, okay. S Q U A D. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, this is aimed for team collaboration. It's a very lightweight cloud collaboration service, mm -hmm. and we want teams to be able to escape from this email overload and to work in a small, confined, shared place in the inbox. Mm. So email turning into an intelligent, self-thinking, orderly, structured. Uh, daily habit? <laughs> well, um, it has some intelligence in the sense that um, if you have a discussion in one of our shared folders, um, all the emails related to that will stay in the shared folder. But all the good stuff will probably come later because um, we think email is a kind of underrated platform. A lot of stuff is going on on the web and email has been forgotten it seems and I think there's a lot of potential in this platform. 
Okay, wow. A lot of interesting things I already heard here from these uh, three uh, young... Uh, because you're all from Germany, right? You're and, and, uh, in age ranging, I think, from 25 to 30 or maybe even younger? younger or Are you 22? Yeah. And how old are you? 24. 24, and you? I'm 29. You're 29, yeah, okay. So and you are? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm 31 now. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, a t I'm, I'm totally old and forgotten. This show keeps me alive, you know, because of the energy of these yeah, young great. kids. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, no, but uh, very interesting and all from Berlin and, and uh, a specific reason why you, you, you choose this place to develop the, the, pro uh, the project? You can go Who wants us. to answer? Um, well, um, well we, we are from Stuttgart, we're not from Berlin. Ah, okay. We found it in Stuttgart. Yeah, but, but now headquarters are from Autonetzer yeah, are in in Stuttgart and Berlin. No, right that, that's not possible. Headquarters can <laughs> <end up> only <laughs> no, be in one it's city. True. No, we are still in Stuttgart. We are I still in, the, okay. in okay. a place where cars mm. are born. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is well, I think in Bayern they think differently, but yeah, I know. because Stuttgart is Mercedes, of course, and Bayern is BMW, but yeah. yeah. And uh, but I'm not in Berlin because uh, it's just a cool scene. I mean, you, you meet so many people, so many. Um, uh, great guys and people which will help you to develop your product to, to give you insights and input and, mm. and it's really really nice um, to just meet up I mean we, we yeah. saw us uh, like uh, three times yeah. already in, in like yeah we, we met yeah we met or yeah without yeah. even knowing who we, you know I didn't know that you were Daniel you didn't know I was Derek yeah and we saw each other all, all in two weeks we saw it three times and now you're here yeah yeah it's, it's such fun I mean, we, we met uh, first day um, uh, just now we just met now yeah right and it's yeah. awesome so this is this is uh, really really um, I think that's pretty great. awesome too. Yeah, yeah that, uh, and you have a so specific first day today. <laughs> yeah, this is our first date. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> so uh, for you, Berlin. Why in Berlin? Yeah, I came to Berlin like in 2009 because I wanted to study here. But like a half year in, I, I realized that like studying is not exactly what I wanted to do. So uh, I called a couple of guys I knew, and uh, friends of mine organized something called the Idea Camp. Mm -hmm. We did something like a, a weekend workshop where we just hang out together. We had some some brainstorming sessions, and yeah, the product of that was the Wexel Butler company. Mm. And is Wexel Butler your your first company? Yeah, it is. Okay, and it, it's 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 your idea, and you're the owner. Uh, yeah, I'm the, yeah, I'm not really. I'm the co-founder. We're like five guys, mm -hmm. uh, two from Berlin, mm -hmm. and the other ones are from from near Stuttgart, Ludwigsburg. It's ah. called. Ah, we have a Stuttgart-inspired uh, uh, broadcast today. Yeah, to be honest, I've never been to Stuttgart or our headquarters. <laughs> so, uh, wow, okay. <laughs> been in Berlin my whole time uh, okay. since uh, since we started the company. So, yeah. 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 And you, Ber Berlin, uh, in for like email becoming, or well, did you discover in Berlin that email is an uh, underestimated platform? Well, we kind of uh, didn't discover it in Berlin specifically because in Berlin the problem is so great. It's a great problem everywhere. Um, we're in Berlin because we come from university. We're basically founding out of university. We're also supported by the programs from the government in that regard and um, yeah I saw a lot of logos on your website also the European <laughs> Union and can you still count on your money because I think they have big problems now in uh, Brussels well I think they can print it all so it's <laughs> no problem <laughs> well in Germany they think differently yeah, about printing money uh, with the European Central Bank but let, let, let's not go into yeah, that detail <laughs> yeah yeah but but you you came out of university because of course in Berlin there are a lot of universities and then what happened yes uh, actually two of our founders we have three founders uh, studied at the Hasse Plattner Institute. It's mm -hmm. actually in Potsdam. Yeah. It's a IT focused uh, school, mm -hmm. but it also does a lot of design thinking, as <laughs> our co founder here I, uh, say. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we kind of just stayed in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we have also music, and they're so very politely waiting in the corner until they can come over and, and, and play. Um, we have uh, the wonderful leader of a number of bands here in Berlin. His name is uh, Eli Fabrikant. Leader, participant. uh, sorry, Just and? Uh, equal participant, not the leader. Oh, uh, uh, participant, uh, yeah. I told like that you were so polite, stuff. yes, yeah. Uh, and and um, uh, they're going to play, but Eli uh, is not alone. Who, no. who did you uh, bring uh, well, along? This is the Knoblauch Klezmer Band, okay. a newly formed uh, Berlin-based band. Yes. And we're going to play some Klezmer music for you. What kind of music? Klezmer. It's uh, the traditional Jewish music of East Europe. 
Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, that's right. And ca nice. if I may ask, if you go a little bit more to the left, for you to the right, yeah? Uh, and the other people can more come to the end of the table because then you're right in the shot of the, of the live stream and all people can, can, can see you. Well, yeah. So thank you. And yeah, just go ahead. Thanks.
wonderful music, uh, Eli, and his band. And later on, uh, all uh, people have to introduce themselves uh, so that we also know their names. Or maybe you can do this, this already. Let me yes, wait. Yeah. 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 Uh, who, who are there today with you? Well, Arnaud. Talented. Hello. Uh, <laughs> so I'm Arnaud. I'm going from France, and I play clarinet. And do you like the startup scene in Berlin? If I start what? <laughs> if you like the startup scene in Berlin. Yes, I'd like to be a star and play with Madonna, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost the same. Exactly. <laughs> so who's the, next, uh, who's the next person who wants to introduce uh, themselves? Yeah. Leon, the contrabass from Berlin. Leon, the contrabass. And do you know anything, because you're from Berlin, do you know anything about the web startup scene here in Berlin? Uh, no. No. <laughs> okay, you should listen to this show, then you know more about it. And uh, who, who's the, the next Alice player? Alice. From Italy. From Italy. Okay. Do you have a smartphone or something like that? Do you use like the web or? No, not really. No. Okay. <laughs> well, well great. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, but th but th this is exactly what I'm. Uh, why I, I invite like real Berlin-based bands, you know, because there's such, of course, every time, you know, there's such a huge difference in <laughs> like how people that are involved with the web scene and. For instance, musicians, uh, what they know about the web and how they use it, and because you are all, you have all like products for German users, and they are not all early adopters. So, what can you say about that? Uh, talking about your product and like usability and how willing they are to try new things. Me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you want to. I don't really know because but they're Excel. Wechsel Butler. Wechsel Butler, yes, exactly. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, actually it's, it's kind of hard because electricity and gas is something you don't want to be too involved with. It's more like you do it once a year. Most of the times people just never do it. So it's like 75% of all the people never change their gas providers, so they're paying too much, but it does, they, they just don't care. Mm -hmm. And Autonet, sir, for you? Um, well, we, we, are, we are believe in a change that's coming now. It's uh, going from hyper-consumption to a collaborative consumption. That mm -hmm. you start sharing your own private car to strangers. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, in the US, it's, it's pretty common, or in other countries in mm -hmm. Europe. But in Germany, it's just started and uh, people start to think about it. Just not sharing their own flat, but sharing um, their car. Mm -hmm. I mean uh, yeah, but, but, but um, it is already also in Germany, like very common to, if you travel longer distance to share like uh, a car for for example so it's not a whole new concept that you're starting yeah right uh, like carpooling you're talking about carpooling but uh, on the other net so you give away your own car yeah. to another to a stranger and give them with the keys and and uh, on the platform we are we are we started to cover insurance uh -huh. because nobody would yeah, do it and of course the germans they yeah. love their cars I yes mean, this is this is a really mm -hmm. um hard market i mean mm -hmm. but uh we are pretty sure in stuttgart for example we have a uh, we have uh, 50 60 cars mm -hmm. almost there and, and uh, it's working but uh, okay. well it's, it's early adapters of course yeah. and the people yeah. will believe in newcomers we'll definitely come back to that but i'm now making a quick round so and um, uh, what about you and like how germans react upon your uh, product because is it hard to change their behavior to look differently upon email from your this um, is this I, is the co-founder of squad mail i think for our product the early adopters are mostly tech savvy people uh -huh. and we hope that by network effects when they're inviting friends to mm -hmm. other shared folders we can grab more of those people who are not as tech savvy mm -hmm. but in general i mean in germany for uh, such products you often get responses like oh, is it secure in germany there's a lot of uh, yeah. care about this uh, security for example yeah that's yeah, true yeah yeah react yeah. on it please sebastian yeah, there's n n not more to add. It's like it's like yeah. you said. And the keyword is data protection, and is it, is it all legal and yeah. so on? I mean, yeah. do you find that difficult? Um, well, for us, technically, uh, we don't find it difficult because we make sure that all the data is protected and safe, and we do all the encryption. Mm -hmm. And from a technical side, it's okay, but it's the psychological side where people think, ah, is it really okay? I mean, they have no problem giving all their data to big other providers, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, if it's a small, unproven company, they might have reservations. On yeah, that. yeah, it's 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 even more difficult uh, uh, when you're a small company because you have to build up the trust uh, with, with the people that use your product. Yes, exactly. And how do you do that? Because, of course, everybody has this same problem uh, tackling this sometimes uh, more conservative German behavior. Well, um, first of all, we uh, provide the technical solutions to this. I mean, authentication, authentication methods like Google, where you don't have to give your password to us that uh, 
might draw some people who are concerned about giving away passwords, for example. But then it's ultimately building trust, building a community, showing that we are only just people that mm -hmm. don't want to steal your data, that don't want to mess mm -hmm. with your account. And that's what we're working on. Yeah, but, 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 but make it a little bit more concrete how you wrap this into your, your, the philosophy in your whole, whole company. Because it cannot, you know, it's not only that they, they don't have to give a password. It really has to come like right from the bottom, I think, when you start a company. Then you have to have this awareness that you want to have this approach. So where can we see it more in your company? Well, we want to be customer focused. We love hearing from customers how they want to, uh, our product to evolve. So we want to stay in contact with these people. And by building relationships with these initial users, we want to build this trust that they are then transporting. And does it work? Uh, I hope it does. I mean, right now we have no complaints. It's mostly the people who come new, who first hear about the idea. They are, have these concerns. It seems like to protect themselves from new things. Mm. But then later on, when they understand how we operate, mm -hmm. they don't have these concerns anymore. Yeah. And uh, what about Autonet, sir? Because you, you was okay. You 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 uh, say actually okay. I'm using my car only in the morning and in the late afternoon to go to work, and. It's there safe, you know, it's dry, it's in a parking lot, uh, it's yours, you can have your coffee there and you have your, your own personal stuff and you don't want to... And then you come and you say, okay, we are going to use your car, your property and we're going to give it to a complete stranger or something, somebody you don't know. How do you approach such a huge uh, uh, well, problem, you know, this, this personal stuff? Well, um, we have like uh, two points where we, we attack this uh, target market um, or to, to make the people more trustfully. Uh, one is, uh, is the insurance. We have our insurance, yeah. it's fully covered and mm -hmm. it took a lot of time. I mean, we, we are talking about insurance companies for over a year and we, we, we fight it with them. And now uh, we uh, got what, what was the first, when you first met them, how did they uh, react to your proposition? <coughs> they said, well, um, no, sorry, we have our own insurance business. We want to uh, do the insurance by the Stichtag and, uh, at the uh, okay. uh, end of November. And uh, well, our daily insurance, or whatever we need, we, we need a daily yeah. insurance on, on, basic, on a daily basis or on a, even our basis. They said, uh, no, we cannot afford it, we are, we are not able to do that. And um, this is what's a great And fight. what was your response then? We say, uh, well, we believe in a change that uh, it has to be all more on time. More, and more flexible. More flexible, yes. of course. Yeah. And of course, um, <coughs> you are, you're maybe afraid of uh, somebody will steal, your ca steal the car and go away. Mm -hmm. But this is not the case. I mean, uh, we have uh, like uh, several hundred of uh, car exchanges every, um, every other month. And, mm -hmm. and you, um, the people take care of your car. They don't uh, mess around with it like on a, a commercial car share mm -hmm. platform. Yeah, and do you think it's harder in Germany than in, a, in another country to, to roll out this, this product? Um, well, um, <coughs> like, um, yeah, some, somewhere it, it's, it's easier because like mm -hmm. in the US you have like the 50 states. Mm -hmm. You have to, uh, to negotiate with every state uh, okay. about the insurance. We can say, okay, we have now covered for all Germany mm -hmm. and can, can provide other countries as well. Yeah. But, um, well, you have to, in Europe, if you want to, to go uh, to Europe, mm -hmm. you have to talk with every country mm -hmm. and to, to uh, make our insurance in every single country. Yeah, but, but what I meant is, uh, is it because uh, uh, are Germans more proud of their cars than other people in the rest of Europe, do, uh, do you think? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> we have like uh, 45 million car owners here. <laughs> yeah. It's the second biggest market in the world. Yeah. And um, that's definitely so. The yeah. people are... But uh, you like a challenge. That's pretty like obvious. Challenge, <laughs> yeah, it's... A really interesting and how many uh, uh, like car ex exchanges do you now have a month? <coughs> well, I don't know if the figures right now, but okay. I, I believe it uh, should be around 100 or even more. 100. We, we started like a, like, uh, where we started a year ago, a year? we yeah. reframed our, our platform uh, like, um, I guess, um, well, uh, 12, month, uh, mm -hmm. 12 weeks ago mm -hmm. and now we're on with the new system where it's much more easier. It's so snappy okay. to just... Okay. Order you made some iterations yeah. and uh, yeah. So um, um, f uh, uh, last question is now going to uh, uh, be for you. Uh, but um, uh, Ali is already standing there because yeah, we want to of course have some more music. Then yeah, <laughs> absolutely right. Uh, uh, so um, um, I have to say it now correctly eh? because uh, if I now say the company name ag wrong leaving. again, yeah. then you're really <laughs> yeah, leaving. Yeah, sure. Uh, nobody left until you know. I did 17 shows and I'll nobody. Be the first left. one. Yeah, you. Yeah, could be bye. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Vexel Butler, right? Correct. Yes! Mm. Okay, no, but, um, um, okay, we talked about this already, you know, le lo you don't want to mind gas and e electricity. What is now, what, what's your main plan how to change this behavior? 
that they, that they say, well, if I don't like it, I'll just go to Vexo Butler and change it. Yeah, to be honest, a lot of people just don't know how much money it is. Like we talked to, we did a lot of interviews with uh, customers or inter uh, what is it? Like people could be interested in our yeah, service. Yeah, prospects. Yeah, prospects. And we talked to, to a young family, two kids, uh, mom and dad, and they could save uh, a year by about 1,000 euros. Amazing, yeah. And uh, I don't know how they did it, but because they did it with our service, they mm -hmm. could like uh, pay for a vacation. Yeah. And that's like, if you can, if you can tell people, uh, if you would change your electricity providers, you would save per year, like, mm -hmm. even if it's only 500 euros, it's like 500 euros more, you can do a small vacation or yeah. a really short one. So yeah. that's, that's quite good. Yeah. yeah, what are you going to play? We're going to play the Hot Bulgarian and I want to dedicate this song for uh, low tech. For a simple, non-technological, acoustic, good music. <laughs>
amazing, <laughs> wonderful, low tech. Uh, yeah, I, this is this is a kind of music where you can dance like all night long. Eh? Yeah. And again, without it's electricity, by yeah. the way. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eli, you know, <laughs> you're you're such a wonderful guy. Music. Yeah, I could, I can, I can learn a lot from you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we all can learn a lot from you. I think. Yeah, yeah, because where would we be without electricity, eh, guys? You know, we, we could not walk one we step. Exist. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's deep. That's also very deep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. trying to kill me. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Okay, um, so uh, I'm going to ask you a very broad question, so you can just, you know, uh, fi fill it, fill in the way you uh, like it to, uh, want it to. Um, by the way, you're halfway Friday at six radio show, a show about <coughs> web startups uh, uh, in Berlin, and we're here today in bar 1820, where the Silicon LA Christmas party is going to be held. So thank you very much to the guys of Silicon LA who organized this event because they're now setting up but give us the opportunity to broadcast here, which is pretty cool. So uh, thank you, uh, Travis, amongst them and uh, uh, the other organizers of this, uh, of this party. Um, so, and the broad question is, um, uh, uh, let me start with uh, Vexel Butler. Um, how is it to start up? Hard. <laughs> Yeah, we started, we were like five guys, and but two of them can only work like for 10 hours a week. And the rest of us, we three, we were just working like our asses off, if you can say that on the radio. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so we, we had our problems in the, in the beginning, and we launched our new, our new website only kind of like two, two weeks ago, because we got a new, a new uh, uh, you, can, you can do it now faster, you can do it easier. So it's good, but it gets it gets better for the customer every day, and mm -hmm. we're just trying to improve at every point. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's going well. Yeah. So apart from uh, the product and and the, the things that you want to make better, you also have some issues in the team all the time that you have to resolve as well. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I can admit, like, you're with five guys. It's I think it's also hard, yeah. especially if some dedicate more time than others. Yeah, but it's, it's, how it's do you really how do you solve that? Yeah, we got a we got a call like once or twice a week with all the different uh, mm -hmm. people, and uh, I got a guy here in Berlin. We're working very closely together, and that's really that's going really well. So we can we can meet up every day to work, but uh, yeah, there's there's not really a huge problem between between uh, between the guys and the team. It's more like we're just uh, holding on together. We're just working on the product, and the the team is just going well, to be honest. Okay. Okay. So, but the, but there were some, uh, of course, in the beginning, some things that you had to do, had to be really clear about with with all the team members. Yeah, that's yeah. Th th that's true. Uh, and the the most uh, the the biggest problem was that we got a guy in uh, as, as I told you in Ludwigsburg. Yeah. We got two people here in Berlin, one mm. in Frankfurt yeah. and one in uh, Darmstadt, which which is near uh, yeah. Frankfurt as well. Yeah. So it was hard for us to to meet like once a month or mm. one, once every two months. Mm -hmm. Just to, to solve different problems that were that were arousing, and it was hard because uh, if some some guys are working 40 hours a week or more, mm -hmm. and the other guys are just like working five to ten hours, it's hard to be on the same level. <coughs> so there are some some things that need to be solved in the week that uh, some people in the team don't really know of. So that's, ah, okay. that's kind of yeah. hard. And how do you resolve that when it comes to uh, how much you own of the company, and uh, how do you? Divide this then. Uh, we did it like we share all the same amount of, mm -hmm. of uh, or the same percentage of the company, because uh, the guys who are not working are the ones who are giving the money. So ah, okay, that's okay. We're, yeah, we yeah. find so ourselves. There's some equal equality in the yeah, end. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's working out just fine. So mm. yeah. Do you learn a lot during this process? No. <laughs> yeah, sure. We really do. We like <laughs> we made like hundreds of mistakes. Uh, we did some twice, but uh, I think we're we're in a good way. So uh, we're improving, hopefully getting better, and uh, that's good for our customers. That's good for ourselves, and so that we can we can really like uh, make a living from this company. Wonderful. And Daniel from Autonetzer, how is it to start up? Harder. <laughs> it's also hard. I mean, yeah. it's really hard because um, you get in with very much uh, with many ideas so you want to uh, say yeah we have to do this and uh, do it now and then you get um, well you get kind of like slow because you, you you start to make everything perfect in the beginning and um, well and then you're getting slower and then you're getting demotivated and then you have to get it ramped up again uh, mm. to push it and, and what what makes it that you uh, hold on to this positive energy to go through well, um, it's, it's the growth of the company. 
this mm -hmm. is a good sign. You see, okay, it's going on, and uh, you see also the worldwide market. It's it's accelerating in this case, and and um, the um, like one and a half year ago we didn't uh, believed in uh, well, we believed in the market, but we didn't saw it coming, and and now it's we seeing it popping up like the commercial car sharing, for example, mm -hmm. uh, which is setting up in Berlin, and Munich, and so on. And uh, this just motivates us to see, hey, there is a market, and mm. uh, when people want to save more money or mm. be more environmental mm. friendly, they mm. could use us. Yeah, yeah uh, and and uh, how do you push yourself uh, through this difficult? Because these are all very rational elements. Eh? You can just mm. analyze this and know it. But there's also also something I think we, and, and that really something and a uh, uh, mentality that really drives you. Where 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 do you get your inspiration in these hard times? Um, uh, the team, of course, the team. We are we are mixed up people. We are we are six right now mm -hmm. and uh, it was awesome to see like um, every once in a while a new one is coming and it's just awesome to get more energy and also from outside from friends of course we believe so. yeah yeah you know, and are some of them sometimes say hey why do you start up man you you could have done Many something different. like totally different some, <laughs> some 99 percent <laughs> yeah yeah a lot of yeah, yeah. And, and what do you think then when they say something like that um, well, it's hard. Like even my parents are not believing in it, oh, <laughs> so okay. it's, it's really hard. You know, you have to you have to uh, be motivate yourself and just uh, believe in it. And I mean, you can fail, and, and uh, fail failure should be uh, not be uh, meant as as your your bad. It should be uh, like a learning process. And uh, as earlier you start with it, like as he said, uh, it's a uh, it's just a higher learning curve, mm -hmm. and uh, you have to you have to do this, mm -hmm. and you have to do this twice and maybe uh, five times uh, in your life until you get success. I yeah, believe. and and uh, do you have a big example somebody that you really admire and you say okay he failed at, so I can fail too but in the end I will make it well um, obviously uh, Steve Jobs is a good example mm -hmm. he was yeah. kicked out of his own company it's a pretty good example yeah. yes <laughs> uh, yeah. and um, well this is uh, one example yeah. and well and um, I just it's the same with in this school you said design thinking it's mm -hmm. all about you you have to you can fail you're allowed to fail mm -hmm. and so failing is not hard anymore mm -hmm. try and over yeah and how startup life at Squad Mill? Well, we're only three people and we all have it spread out equally and we have good team vibes, obviously, so we're having a good time um, because we have funding. We don't have to worry about this day-to-day -day, uh, survival, let's put it that way. <laughs> Um, that's a good thing, but then on the other side you always know there will be a time when the funding is running out and you have to be profitable or attract an investor. So there's a certain time crunch always chasing you to get results and to get this thing out and to um, get enough paying uh, revenue streams, customers. Yeah. So it's, it's hard, but it's also fun. Yeah, and, and where do you get your inspiration from? <laughs> the inspiration? Well, obviously, um, you can read tech, tech Crunch every day and it's all made out, so you're inspired and you think, oh, this is also great. But in the end, it's basically hard work. You have to believe in your team and the team is also the one thing that can only improve. I mean, if you have a bad idea and there's uh, some problem with your idea, you can pivot. We pivoted, we changed our idea, but the team will always continue to grow. And I think that's great in a startup. Mm. And, and, and well, you all talk about the team. That is a really like a, a good like a similarity. And uh, how, how do you get a good team together then? Yeah, as I said, we did that idea camp. And that was organized by a lot of people I really admire, a lot of people I really like. Explain uh, in short what idea camp is. Idea camp is like you get together for a weekend and mm -hmm. you learn how to, how to start a startup. Okay, yeah. Some kind of, kind of like that. Uh, I knew a lot about startups before because my roommate uh, started uh, a company himself. So for me, it was more like uh, getting to know different people who'd love to join me. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a big uh, inspiration for myself because I, I know how it, how it could be, how it can turn out in the end. And yeah, but do, I just do think you, personalities can be very different. But do you yeah. uh, do you really select upon that on forehand or you just start and you see if it works out or not? Uh, I'd prefer the first way. Yeah, because <laughs> it's okay. more like mm -hmm. you need to you need to 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 be linked on a, on a personal level. It's it's, it's really important because there there'll be hard times, and that's where personality is really really important. Because mm -hmm. if you got two people who don't really like each other mm -hmm. in that position or in that yeah. case when when times are tough, yeah, and then even money the and then even money yeah. cannot solve sure. the, these no, problems. No. Okay, no, no, you say okay, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, yeah, team, how do you select a team, Daniel? Well, Martin it's uh, basically yeah, Arno's the same. Or we, okay. uh, I'm like the organizer of Startup Weekend. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's, it's an organization from New York, uh, from, uh, from uh, Seattle and uh, all over the world. We are uh, doing this stuff and um, I'm an organizer for doing it for Stuttgart in Berlin. Okay. And um, well, it's exactly the same. I mean, you get a meet on Friday and you get a, a, of pe a bunch of people who want to grow, want to uh, start a company. And you, you just uh, get together and drink a beer or two, pitch your idea, and then uh, start working on it. Yeah, okay, but no specific um, ideas on how to put together the ideal team. Well, it's okay, well, it's, uh, it's mixed up. I mean, uh, you should be have a d d diversity team okay. that you can, um, you can ha um, comprehend some others uh, so you can have a, have a good team mm -hmm. to round it up. And what um, are the basic elements then? I, I think you need a creative guy, I think you need guy. a programmer, Pro you need a designer, and then a finance guy? Or yeah, business development, of yeah, course. Business business development, development. Yeah, business development. You need a big man who says, okay, I believe in this vision. And you ah, need to, you need the CEO, yeah. yeah. Really CEO. Well, not, oh, no? should not be the CEO, maybe, yes, but you need somebody who will, who will just have the big... Uh, a leader type. Yeah, a leader type. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. 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 Who, who yeah. Believes, believes in a big, big <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah. Anything to add? Um, Regards from team, like a like a, a tip for people who are listening or watching now, right yeah, now. I think if you have a core team where you have one person that brings inspiration to a team, and then you have another person who's more rational and kind of ah, okay, uh, yeah. brings it down to the mm -hmm. real world, that's always a very good thing. And then if you have someone um, who really is into the business side and can say, well. Does this technicality make sense? Will people pay for it? I think then you are on a good track. Yeah, and are you the creative guy or are you the content guy? Uh, well, I work on the technical side, mm -hmm. but I, I I like to get inspiration and bring out ideas. I mean, we kind of have a, a vision where we want this to go. We don't only want this to be about sharing email. We want to make the whole email experience a better experience. We want to push the envelope on email, basically. Yeah. So there's a bunch of other things we want to do in the future. Mm -hmm. And I think I had some of these ideas. But then we also have a product to finish. And then there's other people who say, well, Jan, <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> now we have to get some features in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sales and marketing is also really strategic, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. think to sum it up, it would be like you should really connect on a, on a personal level, but on the other hand, you should you should really know what your position in the team is. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's important. You should know which kind of guys you need, and then you should you should uh, search for them, but you should really connect on a on a personal level, and that's like the real deal. Then I guess. Yeah. Okay. So after music, uh, we're we're going to talk uh, with uh, with the four of us uh, some more about uh, about starting up and about web live. And um, we were also talking about leaders. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, why am I always doing this? J just Eli, you know you know how to play. I'm um, just do your thing. Just do it.
it's just it's just so typical that it, that it suddenly stops all this music or uh, or suspension. It's suspension. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Um, we're going to also uh, uh, try to get some more uh, suspension uh, into this uh, uh, live web radio show. Uh, while Silicon LA, the Christmas party, is still setting up, is everything going okay? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, you hope so? Or is there a little bit stress? Because I'm looking at, at, at the girl who's setting up the beamer ah, for the logo. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, they have everything under control. They're uh, very relaxed and they're so. Uh, Yes, in touch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, guys, are you enjoying yourselves? Or, uh, oh, it's yeah, wonderful. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you like it? Okay. Uh, so um, when, when you talk about, okay, where are your company's heading? So uh, imagine your company in about five years. Where will you then be? What would the, would the product look like? Uh, could you say something about that? Well, um, this well, is Autonet, sir. Yeah, it's a tough question. I mean, uh, they could, can be anything. I mean, uh, but well, if, if I would be optimistic, I would say, uh, well, of course, we are we are one of the leading companies here in Germany doing uh, the peer-to-peer -peer car sharing uh, experience. Uh, we believe that um, everybody will know us, and that we have enough cars that uh, people can be flexible uh, on their own. They can uh, earn money by renting their cars. And uh, that's it's, it's a common place. I mean, that people just do it and do it on a daily basis, and uh, they uh, don't uh, need to buy a car anymore. Ah, okay. So, just the case. That's great. Where will you be uh, in five years with the Vectel yeah, Butler? To be honest, we don't really plan for five years. We just plan for like half a year. But we got a vision. I think it, it's it's that really important to have a vision for that. It, it was it was a wrong question. Yeah, you know, no, it's, it's not, know, a, it's not about the numbers. It's about the vision, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, we're hoping, or we we uh, really we really want to to get and let everybody know how much money they can save per year, and how easy it is. Mm -hmm. How how less time they would uh, they would really need to spend on the internet. And how much money they could save with that? Could I make it a bit more fundamental? I think that you're really trying to uh, raise awareness for like yeah. people taking their lives sure. and they're they're consuming into their own hands. Like yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, it's more like they they just I guess they just don't know how much money is in there. Mm -hmm. So that's our our main problem or our main. Uh, what is it? Or main, yeah, uh, because what I think in the end, like uh, all families with two children can come together on the internet, form a social group, and then negotiate themselves with the electricity company of where the specific family, uh, how much they have to pay. Because you, you're really changing like existing business models into a whole different structure, I think. Yeah, we're not really, really doing it as like a, some kind of group buy thing. No, okay. It's, it's like really, you can, you can go online, you can check it out on our website. You just need Good. to enter your, your usage per year and uh, yeah, the place you're living in. And you can get a quote like instantly. Okay. For for the type it, of energy you, you, you don't need. think it will get better if you gather, you team up with other people and then negotiate yourself. Yeah, th that could work as well. But at it's that a different point right now, model. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. That's okay. a very good idea. But I think there are a lot of people who are trying that right now, mm -hmm. and we're just doing another approach on that. Yeah. So yeah, we last really week we had uh, Michael Brehm, uh, the founder or co-founder of StudiVZ, and he was really, he's a visionary, of course. You know, he had very successful yeah. businesses, and he said that local e-commerce. Uh, uh, is going to be regarded, you know, you know, every product is going to be like huge. So I already okay. applied this to your business model, but maybe it's too far ahead. Maybe we should try it. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I'm a journalist, you know, don't take me too seriously, <laughs> you know, I'm not an entrepreneur. So uh, what's your vision of, uh, with the Squad Mill company? Well, first of all, it would be great if our network grows so that more people are actually sharing emails and files and notes and whatever with Squad Mail. Mm -hmm. And by that way, we have a lot of users. And the benefits will be that when we have a lot of users, we can open up our platform to other developers. So other developers can de uh, create applications for the email inbox to help people with their email trouble and everyday email issues by developing small apps for mm -hmm. the inbox. And, and what, what's the ideology behind that opening up? Uh, the ideology is that right now it's very difficult to develop applications that t uh, target the email inbox as a platform. Um, today you have a lot of uh, APIs to work for the web, but there's very few APIs to work on the email inbox. 
So developers, for them, it's very hard to um, enhance the email inbox with more, more functionality. And we want to open up our technology platform to other developers so they can be creative and think how can we improve email and we give them the access, of course, security-wise limited, like uh, in any app platform, to these inboxes so they can develop new value-added uh, functionality for email, which mm. still there hasn't been the development in the last 10 years that could have been, mm -hmm. and we want to change it. That's our vision. Yeah. Because uh, do, do you, as other entrepreneurs, Autonetz and Wexel Butler, uh, have any questions for, for him that maybe, you know, uh, that you're curious of, of or regarding this product? You have a company yourself, maybe you have different kind of questions than I have. Well, yeah, we're using different e email systems right now, and uh, it's a good way to consolidate it to one platform. And uh, I heard about this kind of business in the US starting, uh, like uh, reseeing all the email stuff. Use the email as, as, as just the, 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 um, the, the bottle of the mail. And then uh, the rest of you can create whatever you want. And I believe this is a good idea. And I was working at IBM uh, for a couple of years. And we also um, was hardly working on how to make the email new. And um, I believe mm -hmm. there's definitely a lot of... Yeah, I mean, this functionality has been available within enterprises, sharing emails and folders. But our system is cloud-based, so mm -hmm. it can be used with multiple mailboxes. One can be a Gmail account, another one can be a plain IMAP account, so it's really interoperable. And that's why I'm so excited about the cloud, because uh, companies, small companies like us, can make such services available, mm -hmm. and maybe later on even expose it as an API so others can build upon our work. Yeah. And if it works out, that's great. Yeah. A a little translation, because the, the musicians we heard, you know, they, they, uh, how, how, how could it benefit them? Like a musician that is not really into internet but checks its email once in a while, how could they benefit from this product? Well, for example, if um, each musician gets a newsletter from their local music um, I know, city, in their city they get yeah. um, newsletters about what's going on. Mm -hmm. and they see a great band that they want to share with uh, other musicians in their team. They just drag it into the folder, uh, great discoveries or whatever, and will be shared with everyone. So everyone is on the same page. For mm -hmm. example, yeah, okay. Uh, do you have because you know it's it, it would be not nice if they can you know ask you questions but you cannot ask them a question. Do we have any questions regarding Vexo Budler or Autonetzer? Um, yes, Autonetzer. I'm myself a car sharing user, but ah. if everyone is using your service, hypothetically, who will provide the cars? Right. <laughs> 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 Well, okay, we are, well, this was about like 10 years, we we're not talking about 10 years. By the way, in 50 years, we don't have any own cars anymore. Yeah, that's, that's a true point, so uh, you're right. But, uh, well, there are, 40, I mean, there are 45 million cars standing on the streets every day and making the city full of, of stuff. And now the companies are going to put new cars on the streets. It makes it even crowdier. And we believe that to use the uh, resources which are available and which are, for, which are standing there for free and, and to make it more useful, you know, to save the environment. And, um, well, if you go this far, uh, I mean, it's um, not really, it's not really, I will. It's not really an answer to the question. Okay. Oh, well, I, I will be. Well, then I will be rich and uh, maybe doing a different <laughs> business model. <laughs> After you, you make the, the car companies bankrupt, then you're going to leave and do something else. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's definitely empty. disruptive. You know, it's uh, you can you can't say anything about <coughs> that. Um, uh, Daniel, do you have a question uh, for Vexo Butler? Um. <laughs> Well, um, <coughs> I believe that, um, well, if you, um, do you want to, you mean you're doing, you're doing more than a support for the, for the customer, I mean, yeah. uh, to make more leisure time, to get more freedom of uh, their sure. choice and so on. Um, do you think um, you can uh, put this to a different uh, kind of uh, contracts besides um, the electricity? Yeah, sure. For us, it's just, it's, it's just the start, you know, we just wanted to, to, to test it out. And right now we're just improving our process every day. And if the process is really working and people are really interested in that, that would be an, an easy way just to, to select another, another niche or another service mm, we could provide. Absolutely. Uh, wh wh what's the next market then? Where, where are you thinking of? Uh, we're just focusing on energy <laughs> right now. You don't want to answer? Uh, not right now. We're really okay. focusing on energy. We, we I know, to, I know, to but you have, at that point. you have some ideas about the next market, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it could be something okay. like the uh, mobile provider, something like that, or DSL internet. That's really all the things people really want to want to yeah. get the cheapest possible price, yeah. but they don't want to spend mm. hours on the internet searching mm. for the best one. Yeah. 
So, uh, guys, last question. How uh, uh, are you going to spend your Christmas? Because tonight it's a Christmas party, the first in the season, I think, of Silicon LA. So, any special startup plans with Christmas? Uh, uh, w what kind of things do you have in mind? <laughs> Celebrating with the family, I guess. It's ah, nothing, okay. nothing special. I'm not from <laughs> Berlin, so I'm going back home, yeah. which is near Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm nice. definitely looking forward to that. Are you going to acquire some FFF capital now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm asking for money and my whole family, and <laughs> that's how we really find mm -hmm. our company. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, any Christmas plans, Daniel? <laughs> well, I'm uh, also going home, of course, mm -hmm. having my family. Mm -hmm. and, um, in Stuttgart? In, uh, no, I'm not. I'm from oh. Cologne. Near Cologne. Oh, you were from Cologne. Okay, yeah, sorry. I'm near Cologne, but I yeah. just studied in Stuttgart. Mm -hmm. um, so my family is at home, and yeah, well, make a good Christmas time and uh, convince my parents that uh, this idea will work out. Yeah, yeah. I really hope that in the end they will also see the energy that you have and the enthusiasm that also counts. I think sometimes, or yeah. But of course, parents are worried, you know, about yeah. you. So maybe it's a good sign. Of course. Uh, um, so yeah, actually, uh, you are not going to work uh, on Christmas. Well, I will certainly uh, take young? my <laughs> laptop with me so I can write a few lines of code. But uh, before Even that... Even during Christmas dinner? No, not during Christmas dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, we're going to have our awesome squad mail Christmas party. Ah, are we all invited? Pun? Are we all invited? Uh, I guess not, because oh. <laughs> you, you know the, the government funding. Is <laughs> 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 yeah. You have to be uh, careful for that, yes. Yeah, it's technically bootstrapping. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but also family and just quiet time and not working all the time. Yeah, but I mean, maybe for our better testers, we can create a little folder where we can share some pictures of ah, our Christmas party okay. for those who are curious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can also already beta test. Uh, you can go to our website, mm. uh, squadmail.com, yeah. and register for a beta invite. And I hope we will put those betas uh, active yeah. pretty soon. Ah, okay, cool. Well, thank you uh, so much, Jan Brunert of uh, uh, Squadmail, uh, Sebastian of Vexobutler. Thank you very much for coming, and Daniel, you as well from Autonetzer. Thank you very much for uh, coming here at this uh, radio show. I hope you liked it. Uh, we're going to uh, end with uh, some music of, uh, of Ali and the band, because... Uh, yeah, Ailey, you know, the problem always is we <laughs> like each other. But, a lot. Th yeah, al actually a lot, yes. Uh, but, you know, you don't really like or interested in the content. So it's be pretty hard for you to wait and wait until you get to play the music. We have to find a combination eh, for that, that you uh, are also interested more in this, uh, in, in, in this content. But it would be very hard for you, I think, to get interested in high tech, right? Yeah. <laughs> possible, I would say. <laughs> okay, so do you please want to close the show? Uh, Pleasure, yes. Yes, and so um, the Knoblauch uh, Klezmer band yes. play for you one a song. Happy song for Christmas. <laughs>
Okay, thank you for uh, listening to the Friday at 6 show. This was number 17, and uh, next week this is the final broadcast of this year, number 18, and then we'll talk about the whole year, what uh, is uh, behind uh, us and what's going to be new in 2012. Thank you so much for listening. Also, at, if you're at the office, come to the pre-party of Silicon LA, guys, here at uh, Bar 1820. It's a very nice location, and it's, it looks really cool. So uh, I hope to see you later, and uh, maybe this week I'll see you at some event, or otherwise next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.